Hi everybody, I'm Morgan Rogers and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the envelope distort tool to make your text look cool in Adobe Illustrator. First off, we're going to start off by opening Adobe Illustrator and creating a new document. I've already created one and I added this peace sign already as some decoration. Any size document will work. Next, we're going to take the type tool over here on the left and create a text box. And I'm just going to type the word groovy and go back to the selection tool. So here we have our word groovy. And the end goal is to have groovy inside this peace sign. So our next step is going to be going up to object and down to envelope distort. And make sure you click make with mesh. Next, we're going to look at our rows and columns. Because the word groovy has six letters in it, we're going to have six columns and one row because it is horizontal. And we can preview it right here. And you will see that there are six boxes for every single letter. Then you're going to click OK. And here we have our word groovy within the boxes. Next, you are going to use the direct selection tool and you're going to click on one of the anchor points. Next, other handles will show up. And this is how you're going to distort your text. So you click on this and you just like kind of move it down. You can move it up. You click on the anchor points in order to move. And so you're going to do this for every one of the letters. And you can do anything you want to it to make it fit with inside your text. Just kind of play around with it. Next, I'm going to go back to the selection tool using the hotkey V. And I'm going to move this down into here. Next, I'm going to go back and play around with it again. Go back to the direct selection tool and use the anchor points. Make sure you double click on the anchor points. And I'm gonna like make it inside of the peace sign. So now it is fitting inside. If I wanna really make it smaller, I can just go ahead and fix that. I can move this down also. And there you go. You have a nice work of art here. And you can do this with any kind of font, any kind of word. You can put it within any picture. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new. Bye.